I just wanted to give you a little uh, heads up on how this, uh, the information in this first section for the second series is laid out. As I mentioned before in this first section, we're going to start talking about exponents. Okay. Now exponents and radicals are directly related together to each other. The way I've, uh, I've laid out this information is uh, basically, as I mentioned before in the first series, Mathematics, uh, the way it works is when you learn information, you know, you shouldn't forget it because uh, it's like a language, right? So you build up on your base information that you know. So in English, you know, when you learn the letter ABC, you don't forget them when you learn DEF, right? Because you end up using ABC as, as well. Mathematics is the same way. So with the way I've laid out the information in this series is there's two introductory videos that are uh, going to be online. One of them is going to go back to the first series and overlap exponents and radicals with the real number set, which, as I mentioned before, is super, super important because the real number set is basically the majority of the numbers you're going to deal with in high school. And this, you know, as long as you know what type of numbers or what you do with these numbers and how they're laid out and how they're related then math in, in specifically in high school becomes uh, much easier because you understand the base numbers that you're dealing with so the first video is going to be an overlap of the real number set with exponents the second video the intro, intro video for the series is going to be exponents and radicals and I'm, I've overlaid some examples just to give you guys an introduction to you know how some of these problems are laid out and how how you can work them out so they're basic problems that are overlap with this and these are just basically examples so there's going to be two intro videos dealing with exponents and radicals one of them is going to be overlap with the real number set and the other one's going to be overlapped with some examples embedded in there. Now the length of these ones, I think this one is approximately 15 minutes and this one is approximately 30 minutes, okay? Um, unfortunately I'm going to have to break them up in YouTube because I don't have, I think it's a partner account where you can load up uh, longer videos. The next set of videos coming up with this is going to be the rules. the rules of how we deal with exponents and radicals, how we add them, how we, how, how we add them, how we subtract them, how we multiply them, how we divide them, how we take an exponent to an exponent, power to a power, okay? So different types of rules based on what the operations are that we're doing with these two things. And then after that, I'm gonna try to load on a whole bunch of examples um, some of them easy. I'm going to start off pretty simple and then work, work up to the fairly hard ones that you end up getting in grade 12 uh, because later on I want to lay it out, lay, um, sort of put down the foundation to start dealing with logs as well. And logs are usually introduced in grade 12 and some more uh, you know, complicated functions. So basically this next series coming up, the first section for the second series, is going to be talking about exponents and radicals two introductory videos, one dealing with the real number set and these guys, and one of them was just examples embedded uh, with the information on how this is laid out. And then we're going to have the rules and examples. Okay. Hopefully this helps. I'm going to try to get as much of this as I can. I'm going to go fairly detail on this because this is super important and it's, it's a huge part of a high school mathematics, just like the real number set. The real number set is super important. This stuff is super important. Okay. Uh, keep that in mind when you're going through the videos. They might not all be loaded uh, exactly in the right order, but later on, as I mentioned, when I finish the second series, uh, I'm going to lay out everything and hopefully put everything in a proper in, in the proper order so you can follow the you know the train of thought that hopefully makes sense.